All right, um, I haven't made a YouTube video in like 10 years, but uh, the band Camino is like my favorite band for the past few years. And they came out with a song that sounds like a John Mayer song. And John Mayer, John Mayer used to be my favorite artist for like all growing up. So anyway, just wanted to give a quick tutorial. There may be a better tutorial that comes out later, um, but my goal here is to try to get something out fast for those who hear it and you know want to play it uh, pretty quickly. Um, so, this song is a little bit tricky because of his slapping that he does. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. Um, the slapping may take some practice, but um, I'm a very visual learner, so what I'm gonna do is just try to show you how he plays it. Um, what really helps me is just seeing how people place their fingers and then practicing it myself. So I would recommend just see how I place my fingers and then just you know practice it. I'm gonna try to show you exactly how he does it. So combination of that, you should be able to figure it out. But So uh, I'm gonna play it real quick. Here's how he plays it. At least that's the beginning part anyway. So there's a few different ways you can play this. I'm just gonna take you through um, and show you your different options. Um, and I'm gonna show you without the slap. I'm just gonna show you the notes that he plays first and then we'll try to add in the slap later. Um, so let's start with the first part here. Um, he plays a bass note here. It's gonna be the 10th fret, uh, excuse me, the 10th, um, yeah, 10th fret on the fifth string here and then you're gonna be playing the second fret on the eighth string here. Uh, no, yeah, eighth string. So, bass note. So you start with the eighth bass note, eighth fret, second string, hammer on the 10th fret, and then slide up to the 12th fret. So there's a few different ways you can play this. I like to do it like this. You could also do it like this. Or you could even play like a C chord and hammer up, uh, slide up with your pinky. Um, again, I think this is the easiest because then you can leave your ring finger there and just go to the next one down here. So that's the first part. Uh, let's go to the second part. So this one, um, it's your seventh fret. Um, your pointer finger is on the seventh fret on this uh, fifth string, and then your ring finger is on the eighth fret on the second string. So he goes bass note, so that's all it is. So that's how I would play it is. And then he's gonna um, go from here and then slide to here. Um, I like to play it personally like this, um, but essentially it's gonna be your pointer finger on the fifth fret, on the second, uh, on the fifth string, and either your ring finger or your pinky here on the seventh fret on the second string. And so here, I like to do it a little bit differently than he does. What he does is he hits a bass note and then he slides. So you get that really nice sliding sound. I personally, it's just a little harder for me to do that. I would prefer to do it like this. You can see if you do it this way, you can just leave everything there. So this note here and this note here are the exact same. So I just like to go instead of, but you can do whatever way you want. And then you just slide it down two frets for the last part. So fifth fret, uh, sorry, fifth string, uh, third fret here with your pointer finger, and where, however you're playing this, whether it's your middle finger or your pinky finger, it's gonna be the fifth fret, second string. And then the third fret here, and then open. So. So all together it's. So now that we have the notes, just practice that. Uh, once you have the notes, you can start adding in the slap. So the slap here, you're just gonna be slapping with your thumb. Um, it's a really cool technique that you can use in a lot of songs. Um, so I would just practice that. Just slapping your thumb against the 
fifth and sixth string here until it gets a nice little sound. Um, and so we're gonna add that. Um, I would start by just playing the bass notes and then slapping. So get familiar with just playing the bass note and then you can kind of just try to add everything together. Usually what he does is he plays the bass note, slaps, and then another slap. So it's usually a bass note, slap, notes, slap, and then the next bass note. So yeah, I would just practice that. So bass note, slap, like two or three notes, another slap, bass note, slap, just practice it, go slow. Um, you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so the last part here, um, basically you just play that over and over again for basically most of the song. And then there's one other part that's a little different. Um, it's the very end part. So I'm gonna play it really quick and just show you how it plays. He's like, I wish that I could find the line to tell you how, how much it I'm going to be playing this a little differently than he does because I think it sounds a little better and I'll show you that. Uh, but basically you start here, um, it's like a beating a blackboard, same chord here. Um, it's going to be your ring finger on the 12th fret, second string, and your pointer finger on the fifth string, uh, 10th fret. And so I'm just going to show you the picking pattern here and you're going to be doing the same picking pattern over and over again. But it's basically like you pluck both of them. Pluck up and then slap again. I'm just gonna, this is really hard to explain. It's one of those things that you really just have to um, play around with it. So I'm gonna try to go really slow, show you what I'm doing. And I'm just wanna recommend practicing on just this note. So you're kind of slapping, you're doing like a pick with these two slap and then you're slapping again and then you're picking up with these two fingers but again just practice it on this once you have this down you just keep the right hand the exact same through all the other chords i'm about to show you so again it's this one and then he goes here this is pointer finger on the ninth fret ring finger on the tenth fret and then just slides that two down and then we're going to one of the earlier chords. So again, starting from the top. And then he actually does an A minor. And what he does in the song is like a little... So you can do it that way. If you wanna do it exactly how Jeffrey does it, it's A minor. But I think this sounds a lot better. Going A minor, G, and then uh, D. And then he just plays that twice, so. I wish that I could find the words Tell you how much it hurts And then he goes, Sometimes I get drunk So he just plays this again without slapping. And then on the like Apple Music version, he then goes into this one more time. All right, that's it. Good luck, hope you can figure it out. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing.